Hello Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that button and help me grow my channel by sharing, commenting. If you like a personal rating with me, I've created a new website. It's in the link below. I'm so excited about it. And it is called raw717.com. Let's get started and let's see for 2023 what you're leaving behind what is coming into your life look at that good start wow absolutely beautiful energies here that we're starting out with let me just put another one four more at the bottom <clears throat> so far what we're seeing is this what well, you're going to be very busy whether this is through travel what you're gaining in 2023 <clears throat> is confidence is feeling so abundant about yourself. A lot of travels ahead, moving through obstacles, the things that maybe at some point you didn't know how to come into a neutral place with. Really experiencing um, your nine of cups. Look at that with the ace of cups. What is coming for you for those that are single, new love, this is also self-care, self-love. So if you've been self-caring and self-loving and giving yourself that beautiful nurturing love, what is um, coming on here for you is a complete transformation when it comes to the matters of the heart with the death card. So you're moving beyond the pain. You're transmuting these energies, whatever that was around the heart that had hurt you in 2022 or prior to that, what you're changing is the way that you're responding, the way that you are responding to, to your life. So Six of Cups wants to come out. Now, there can be a reconciliation with the past. There can be a reconciliation with somebody of the past. This is the past card. But I'm going to put another one on here. Your focus right now is to continuously keep transforming and transmuting yourself and really working on any past events that you still need to heal if this is not a past person coming in. But what is happening here is that 2022, you might have really spent time taking care of yourself. So you can really look at, you know, all your experiences and you put in the work, you know, this is putting in shadow work. And when you're putting in shadow work, when it comes around to what needed to be mended, what needed to be healed, what you're really doing is that you're really recognizing where you're headed is towards confidence, is a feeling you are val validating and feeling valued within yourself because this is self-care. What you're transforming is leaving the past pains behind and really starting to experience beautiful things. The two of pentacle could be a lot of abundance coming your way. It's also, you know, it's the card of keeping balance as you have other things that you're doing. So keeping a balance between your work and between your heart and whatever that you wish to bring in. The Nine of Cups is like the dreams come true. Too many cards. I just would like to put one card on the Six of Cups to say, what is this Six of Cups? What is it that it's talking about? What is this pertaining to? The Queen of Wands. It's about taking action and taking your passion back. This is very self-focused. At the bottom of the deck, I have... Um, King of Cups. So whatever was not in alignment in 2022, whatever that needed to be to heal, okay, is now, yeah, whatever that you're healing from a heartbreak, what it's saying now is that now you're taking action. You're ready to release the past. You've done a lot of work on yourself. So 2022, what 2022 is bringing you is this connection with the divine, is a connection with this fiery side of yourself that maybe you are not really able to experience in 2022. And this is saying that you are so loved and so guided and really understanding your own beauty and your own heart because it's time for you to step into something new and to now work on what, on excitement, on bringing joy, on bringing your um, happiness 
into the forefront of what it is that you want to experience and now you're bringing this into light so if you're looking for a new connection if you're looking for a new love if you're looking to heal the old love if you're looking to just have self-love whatever that it is that you want whoever that's watching it this is what is coming out and this is something that's really going to transform your life because maybe in the past you felt like relationships were a lot of work in the past and now it just feels like there's this dance between this emotion, between passion and feeling. So what is coming up, there's a stepping up to the queen and to the king. So what is transforming is that, you know what, this is two people in the past that had to transform their life and take a time out and now they're coming together. Does not mean that this is somebody that you already know and it doesn't mean that it's not. Let's go ahead and take a couple oracle cards and let's see. <laughs> the energies that are that are coming out here for you. Um, two cards fell over here. So we have healing energy flows through you, mystic healer. We absolutely see that. And we have um, the answers are within, taking shelter, grace, and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy extends. Absolutely. So anytime we have a gratitude, we wake up with self-care, self-love, and we're healing ourselves. What is happening is that what we're doing is we are waking up in the morning with that being the first thing, with you being the first thing on your mind. So listening to beautiful music, this answers are within taking shelter is, again, back here, it looks like you took that time out to really take that time to go within so you can really light your way forward. Whatever that you need, Virgo, in 2023, it's not that it's on the outer. We do readings for clarification to maybe tap into to help you remember. The answers are already there. So this is your becoming more intuitive and really going within. And this is what you're working on. You're working on trusting the heart and going within yourself and just knowing the direction that you want to take. Let's take a couple more cards and let's see what else is coming up for my Virgos for 2023, which is absolutely beautiful. We have self-realization. What an absolute divine card. So a self, look at that beautiful card, this, like this, she's at the edge. And then you have spirit guides. So this is you really awakening to who you truly are. And self-realization is when we really look at, you know, what is it that you want to experience? Who have you been? Have you been taking right life really seriously? And the card is indicating here that you're here to dream a bigger dream. Oh, I see another person on the other side, if you can see that right there. And there's somebody that is standing here. So this is pretty much what the spirit car that is asking you if you are willing now to answer the call. What is the call that is asking you? And so when you're listening to your intuition, when you're taking shelter and you're listening to your intuition and you're feeling that excitement, you may feel a little scared here, but what is asking you is to really hold a bold vision about what you desire, what is it that you want, and don't teeter-totter. Literally go within. That self-realization is you are more than your body, your name, and the title, and um, the, the labels that you give yourself. Your spirit, and you're here having this human experience. So what you're doing is that you're recognizing that, and you're recognizing that each step of your journey is a step closer back home to your immortal self, to you. So there's a great awakening that is happening in 2023 where you're, you're going to be more conscious. So from a conscious place, when we realize who we truly are and when we see ourselves from a higher self, from our higher self, what we're doing is that now we're having a vision of all that we want to create. So we're on this voyage that says, wait a minute. I can have whatever I desire because I'm energy and I've come here to really go within to answer the call of my heart. So when you're going within and you're giving gratitude, what you're releasing is anything of the past 
that really needed to change. So what's transmuting, what's transforming is you. You're awakening to yourself both emotionally and what lights you up in 2023. 23 is going to be a big year of self-realization of what feels good for you, what doesn't feel good for you, where are you putting your emotional um, thoughts and feelings are, and what is it that you are releasing. Then we have the card of adaptability, woodwives. And so this may be something new that you you are to adapt to. So it's a new way of being. You know, sometimes when we come from that energy of, you know, um, of the matrix of what we have thought, who we were, you know, we have to work hard and, and um, you know, that you're not worthy. So what it happens is now you're becoming more adaptable and you're becoming adaptable to change, to a new way of thinking, to a new way of feeling, to a new way of communicating within this force, this higher self, but your higher self is you as well. So what you're recognizing is when you become more open and more adaptable, when you, when you just learn and you, you're having a beginner's mind with things, what you do is that you're letting go of any of the notions of how things should be and you're just going to be present in the moment. So there's no way for you to say, so that's why you say the answers are within self-realization. What you're adapting to is this change. It's about you growing and you expanding. And it's what you already know how to do. You're just to remember how to do it, how to become adaptable. You have everything you need and all it takes right now for you is to keep reminding yourself to be flexible as you go through 2023. Because this is not only just about the wisdom and like the hermit, the wisdom keeper, of your Akashic records, of who you are, what you've experienced, but you're also the student to this new self-realization that you're coming into. So the wisdom of who you are, the self-realization, and now you're stepping into to realizing who you truly are. And so this is absolutely beautiful and you're being guided by spirit along the way. So really pay attention to spirit's messages in 2023 about, you know, you're also a healer, healing your own energies, really coming into this place of energy, you know, feeling it, tapping into it and knowing when to retreat, knowing when it's time to go within and learning how to adapt with things in a new way. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. One that is independently for you to experience so you can cross over and really experience instead of doubt your happiness. So let's see which door is opening up here for you. If you're not a subscriber, tap the button and hit the bell. And um, let's see, look at that, absolutely beautiful. That, what does that look like, the Taj Mahal? It says, a distant kiss and a prayer flag. I wish of all wishes that you were here. Through sunlight and rain, I need you near. Wow, beautiful, I'm telling you, there is a relationship that is coming in. And this, if this is a wish for you, already see this manifest it and just align yourself. Because again, you know, there's two people here, a distant kiss in a prayer. So it's like right there, you just gotta just know, just know if this is a wish for you, just know how to create it. And that is just by believing it. Believe that this is already exists and you will align to it. Leave me a message if this makes sense for you. And it's so funny, I have heart healing on this side. Anyway, sending you so much love, so much light. Happy New Year and happy holidays. Namaste.